The Wolfpack fans have a shirt. Don't turn your back on the Wolfpack. This might be a good time to heed that advice because they had a very good preliminary round. That's right, Craig. They had a few bobbles in that routine and know they can improve with that being the goal. Finishing third last year really made this team hungry to come back and hopefully repeat or get better. They had the second highest raw score. They had a .3 safety deduction. So although they're about four tenths of a point back of Oklahoma State in the prelims, much of that was due to the safety violation, and those scores do not even count here for day two. Just that little carryover of the cheer score, tenth of the overall scoring. Had some good saves through that partner stunt section, finishing it out strong there with the Scorpion double down. Head coach Annette Trammell, a squad of 20, the maximum four males, 16 females, 12 underclassmen, six sophomores, six freshmen. Looks like they're picking up momentum through this routine. So they move into their running, tumbling. Remember one of the five fundamentals the judges are looking for. Tumbling, which of course encases the running, tumbling, and stun standing tumbling. Nice combination passes, finishing with those full twists does help them get into the 9 to 10 point range in that category. Well, the coach told us last year they really were just looking to improve, make a name for themselves. They did do that, accomplishing it, finished in third. This year, I think they've ramped it up a little bit, especially after the fine uh, prelim performance. Well, they felt like they made improvements in areas like their pyramid section. See a lot of creativity transitioning right into the famous wolf wall. Very nice. You know, as you mentioned, it's been a Louisville, Oklahoma State story, winning six of the last seven in this category. A few years ago, they changed it from Division One to small court 1A. And we'll see. NC State pretty good, huh? Very nice.